Hello, everybody. Sorry for the hiatus again. Um, I wanted to do uh, just a quick review of something different, something I haven't really talked about in quite some time, and that is paint. And if you find yourself about to build something like this, uh, not necessarily this kit, but a Japan ground self-defense vehicle, uh, you might need something like this. Neat little color set from uh, Mr. Hobby. And this is uh, a set that I became aware of uh, not that long ago, actually, from uh, a fine molds kit that I had bought and I ordered. It took forever to get it. It came from Taiwan. Let me zoom, zoom in just to skosh for you. This is out of their Mr. Color range. So this is an enamel product, um, not an acrylic. I don't do enamels, uh, but I'm going to. Uh, so you need a different thinner, obviously, than you would need with your acrylic line. Now, I did some research. The thinners that will work with this product, the Tamiya lacquer thinner will work, so this will work just fine. Uh, their own thinner, the Mr. Mr. Color thinner, will also work um, quite well. And then I understand that this product is fantastic, the leveling thinner. So it's got a little bit of a retarder to it, makes it dry um, really smooth and nice and flat. A lot of people seem to really like this product. So any one of those three thinners or traditional lacquer thinner will work. So what this is exactly is a three color set for the Japan ground self-defense force vehicles from 1986 onwards. Three colors in the box, TC07 dark green, TC08 brown, and TC09 olive drab. Simple side opening box. And what we have in here are three 10 milliliter paint bottles, no surprises, uh, for the three colors that are listed on the box. Now, I have never used uh, Gunza Sanyo, or I guess now their parent company is GSI Krios. They no longer go by the Gunza name, or just Mr. Mr. Hobby. Uh, never used them. Uh, aircraft guys swear by them. Um, you know, Brett Green is a big fan, the guy that, you know, has the hyperscale page. He's a big fan um, of their products, but this is a great little set. You get all three colors that you need um, in one, one fell swoop. Not crazy expensive. I think I paid, I don't know, 20 bucks for this set shipped, you know, delivered to my door. Uh, but, you know, it's uh, not real cheap, I guess, but it's, uh, you know, it's doable, I think. At least it was for me. And uh, it's going to probably be my first experimentation with enamel paints. They also have their aqueous um, color line, which of course is acrylics, um, but they, for whatever reason, they don't offer these colors. Now, Tamiya does, however, they do offer uh, color colors for the JGSD, JGSDF, uh, but they sell them in individual pots, and they're available either in the 10 milliliter or 23 milliliter size. But that's all I had to share with for you today, and uh, thanks for tuning in, and I, I hope to have some videos posted and up uh, later uh, this weekend. So take care, everybody. Bye-bye.